Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you the presentation on the topic structure of shared memory space and consistency models. We will go through all these points. Now let us start with the structure of shared memory space. As it defines the abstract view of shared memory space to be represented to application programmers of data structure management system. Structure and granularity of data structure management system are closely related to each other. There are three approaches for structure of shared memory space. First is no structuring, second is structuring by data type and last one is structuring as database. Now we see all these three approaches in details. First approach is no structuring. No structuring. In this approach, linear array of words is used. Main advantage of this approach is that it is easy to design such a data structure management system. The second approach is structuring by data type. In the shared memory space, it is structured as collection of variables in source language. As data structure management system uses variable grain size to match the size of the object being accessed by the application. The last approach is structuring by database. As the name suggests, structure is like the uh, database of. In this approach, during updation, old data is replaced by new data, same as the database. In this shared memory space, it's ordered as an associative memory called tuple space process selects tuples by specifying the number of their fields and values this is all about the structure of shared memory space now we see consistency models as it defined as a set of rules that application must obey if they want the data structure management system to provide the degree of consistency guaranteed by the consistency model From this definition, it is clear that the consistency model basically refers to the degree of consistency that has to be maintained for the shared memory data. Consistency requirement vary from well application to application. These are different type of the consistency model. First model is strict consistency model. This is the strongest form of memory coherence having the most stringent consistency requirement value written by the read operation on a memory address is always same as the value written by the most recent write operation to that of the address all writes instantaneously becomes visible to all processes implementation of the strict consistency model requires the existence of an absolute global type Absolute synchronization of a clock of all nodes of distributed system is not possible. Implementation of this model for data structure management system is practically impossible as synchronization of clock for all the nodes is not possible. Next consistency model is sequential consistency model. This consistency model proposed by Lamport in 1979. A shared memory system is set to support the sequential consistency model if all processes see the same order. Exact order of access operation are interval does not matter. The example is given in the description. The consistency requirement of this model is weaker than that of a strict consistency model. A sequentially consistency memory provides one copy semantics. Sequential consistency is acceptable by most applications. Next consistency model is casual consistency model. This model was proposed by Hutto and Ahmed in 1990s. All processes see only those memory references operation in the correct order that are potentially casually related. Memory reference operation not related may be seen by different processes in different order. Maintaining dependency graph for memory access operation. This memory reference operation is said to be related to another memory reference operation if one might have been influenced by the other. Next consistency model is 
pipeline random access memory consistency model. This model was proposed by Limpton and Sandberg in 1988. It provides weaker consistency semantics than consistency model described so far. It ensures that all write operations performed by a single processes are seen by all other processes in order in which they were performed. All write operations performed by a single process are in pipeline. Write operations performed by different processes can be seen by different processes in different order. This model is simple and easy to implement and also has a good performance. Pipeline Random Access Memory Consistency Model All processes do not agree on the same order of memory reference operation. Next consistency model is Processor Consistency Model. This model was proposed by Goodman in 1989. It is very similar to Pipeline Random Access Memory Model with additional restriction of memory coherence. Memory coherence means that for any memory location, all processes agree on the same order of all write operations performed on the same memory location are seen by all processes in the same order. Next consistency model is weak consistency model. This model was proposed by Dubois in 1988. Common characteristics of many applications. It is not necessary to show the change in the memory done by every write operation to other processing when process executes in a critical section. Second one is isolated access to shared variable are rare. Better performance can be achieved if consistency is enforced on a group of memory references operation rather than on individual memory reference operation. Next consistency model is release consistency model. It is also called as an enhancement of weak consistency model as the feature of the weak consistency model is updated in this model. In this model, there is a use of two synchronization variables. First is acquire and second is release. Acquire results in propagating a changes made by other nodes to process node. Release result in pro propagating a changes made by the process to other nodes. <laughs> Requirement of this model are as follows. First one is all access to acquire and release synchronization variable obey processor consistency semantics and all previous acquires performed by processes must be completed successfully before the process is allowed to perform a data access operation on the memory. So this is all about the consistency models and different type of consistency models and stru structure of shared memory space. Thank you.